the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News. Good morning, Arkansas. Coming up on today's show, we have something really awesome. Yeah. In this month's Keep On Amazing with Baptist Health, Dr. Wendell Pauls is here to show a new way that they are performing CPR. They're one of the first hospitals in the country to be using this technology. Uh, he's going to explain that to us here in just a few minutes. Kayla and I got a little briefing mm -hmm. on uh, how they utilize it, and it really is incredible. And it's something that's already saving lives here mm -hmm. in our state, so it's super important, and I'm really excited to share it all yeah. with you guys. Welcome back, everybody. In this month's Keep On Amazing with Baptist Health, Dr. Wendell Pauls is here to show a new way they're performing CPR. You were filling us in on this um, before the show started this morning, and this is so cool. Can you explain for our viewers at home what's happening here? Absolutely. Very simply, when we've had our outcomes in the past with CPR, uh, we haven't gotten the neurological outcomes that we would like. Mm -hmm. This system helps not only increase your opportunity to survive, survive a heart attack, it also increases your opportunity to come out of it neurologically intact and go home to a happy and healthy lifestyle. Let's explain that for viewers at home. What is it, when someone does need CPR, what is it neurologically that can go wrong? Well, two things. First of all, when you don't get enough blood flow and oxygen to mm -hmm. the brain, and this system helps that. The other thing is that there is sometimes injury to the brain when we do CPR on the venous side when we compress the chest. Mm -hmm. There's a column of blood that goes up to the brain that slams into your brain with each compression. And <clears throat> in traditional manners, that has ended up causing enough of a force wave to be about the same as helmet to helmet contact in the NFL. So we've effectively given our patients a concussion 100 times a minute during CPR. Wow. Wow. This improves that. Which you, you often hear about the chest injuries that go along with CPR, but you don't always hear about that aspect of it. So this is really interesting. But you're saying this machine right here is something that helps combat that problem. Correct. This is a combination of three basic technologies. This Lucas device helps do CPR effectively. To do it effectively, you have to compress the chest five centimeters mm -hmm. down and then come completely off the chest a hundred times a minute for 30 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Very hard to do that if you're a simple human being. The second is impedance threshold device, this little device on the end of the tube. It's a negative, it's a valve that helps maintain pressure in the chest, negative pressure. And then the heads up system or the Eligard, uh, which is the device the patient is lying in, mm -hmm. slowly elevates the head over a two minute period, decongests the brain and improves neurological outcomes. Which is, that's the thing that you're talking about that helps combat the concussion issue with the blood rushing to the brain. Correct, okay. all of that together helps reduce the amount of injury to the brain. Wow, that is incredible. So this is something you guys have implemented over the last several months. So tell us how that's gone. It's, it's been very, very effective. We've partnered with MIMS, the ambulance service provider here in central Arkansas, and they've done a fantastic job of implementing this out in the community. We've partnered with MIMS so that when this system is implemented out in the field and they bring the patient to our emergency department there at Baptist, we continue this process in our department and then it flows into the hospital. We also have this to do primarily if someone arrests in the emergency department yeah. Baptist, we can provide the same level of care. And you're saying this has already saved lives here in Arkansas? Yes, we've seen uh, over the last six weeks, because we've only had it in place since June, mm -hmm. uh, but in the last six weeks we've already had one wonderful outcome. <laughs> And it comes with a horn. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we've had one outcome so far where a person that arrested here in downtown Little Rock wow. has now left neurologically intact. And we're very proud of that. And we hope to extend that to more oh, patients here in, in central Arkansas. I mean, that's a dream for you guys at Baptist Health. If you go into medicine, you go into it because you're passionately committed to trying to help people. This is a significant step forward in our opportunity to help people that have cardiac arrest. That is amazing. So while we have it off, let's just show people the process of getting it going and how it works from the beginning. Absolutely. The first thing you have to do because you want the compression to be five centimeters down mm -hmm. is once you power it up, uh, then you set the device to a zero point. That's now zero. That tells it how that tells far it, that distance yes, is going to be. Yes, from here, when I start it, 
it will start doing CPR. Wow. It goes five centimeters down and then comes completely off the chest. Coming completely off the chest or back to its zero point allows the chest to recoil, create a suction effect inside the chest cavity, draw blood out of the brain and out of the extremities, back to the heart and start the circulation all over again. And another thing that you were talking about earlier was that this is more effective than the traditional method of CPR and sometimes you even see people coming awake out of this. They've been doing some component of this for the last several years across the nation and as we started doing all of this, we started seeing patients actually start to wake up. Even though their heart is not beating, they're still in full cardiac wow. arrest. By doing some of these techniques, we started seeing them wake up and we're having to sedate people because they were becoming combative and grabbing it too. But this is a good, it means it's working. It, it means that you're getting blood flow back to the brain wow. and they're starting to see positive results. And back to tell like you said, one of the first in the nation to have this device to use. How does that feel for you guys being one of the first? It's not bad. Yeah. We, <laughs> we enjoy the opportunity to be able to help people knowing that this is going to help folks and knowing that we can bring these kind of improvements into the system is a very fulfilling experience for us. Everyone yeah. at Baptist, everyone in the emergency department is truly committed to getting good outcomes for our patients. And that's what you were saying. You, this is a dream for you guys to be able to use this new technology that's saving people's lives. Absolutely. Get in contact with Baptist Health if you have any questions. You guys have your health line set up. We have that information up on your screen for you right now. If you have any questions for Baptist Health and Dr. Paul, we appreciate you so much for being here with us and showing us this awesome new device. Thank you it's great for meeting me. you and learning all this important stuff. It's it's amazing. We we love you guys at Baptist. Thank you for letting me okay. share.